Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And if you are new here, my name is Marisa and welcome to Marisa's Moonlit Creations. So in today's video, I have a brand new box for me. This is the first time I'm trying this company. This company's name is called Sugar Muses. So I am really, really excited to be opening this with you today. It is really, really late or really, really early in the morning. I couldn't sleep. So I figured, you know what better thing to do than to just kind of chill with you guys, drink a little coffee at two o'clock in the morning, drink a little water, and we're gonna get started opening this beautiful box. I cannot wait. So let's get started. Hey guys, I am back. So first, I always want to do a little quick update or house cleaning as they call housekeeping. <laughs> anyway, the last few days I have been sick. My wonderful son had a cold and of course he gave it to mommy. So I have been kind of like out of commission the last few days. But I just wanted, before we get started here, I just want to tell you a few things that are coming up very, very shortly on my channel. I'm going to be doing a pretty huge Etsy haul. I uh, have got a lot, a lot of cool things, um, a lot of witchy things. And actually, this time I actually bought some art supplies off of Etsy. I wanted to try some new stuff. So I got stuff coming from France. I got stuff coming from Canada. And I got stuff coming from the UK. And a lot of it has shipped already. So I am waiting for um, some more stuff from Etsy. I do have quite a bit of things that I didn't show you guys yet. Um, a lot of goodies. So it's gonna be a, be a pretty big haul. And I'm really, really excited for that. And a big part of it's gonna be for Beltane. And I'm really, and I'll explain all that to you guys when I do the unboxing with Etsy. And then, I have, of course, a lot more boxes. I have some art coming. Um, and speaking of art, once the stuff comes from Etsy, and I can show it to you, I'm going to be doing a new resin um, review. I've been working with this company, T-Expert, for about two years now, and they contacted me again um, to do a review on their brand new resin. I haven't done any resin um, art in a while, so I'm really excited for that. So I'll talk more about that, of course, when that video comes up. And yeah, just I've been sick. I have a great Etsy haul coming. I, of course, have really, really interesting, cool boxes coming. And I'm going to be doing, finally, some resin art. And I am going to finally get to my beautiful full moon a fluid pour. I just haven't been really feeling well. Lots been going on behind the scenes. All right. So I'm just a little quick update. And I have been using this uh, my wonderful water bottle from Ink Goddess Creations. I have been using this every day. So I got it and I've been drinking a lot more water because I really love the bottle it's like this perfect size and I've been drinking like four or five of them a day so great improvement anyway so let's stop me yapping and let's get started with the unboxing of sugar muses Hey guys, so before I get started, I just want to say a little bit about this company. So this is a brand new company for me. I don't know how long they've been open, but the owner of the company, Sugar Muses, she had some personal issues where she had to stop all her boxes. Um, and I know there were three. Um, you know, I watch other channels that they do unboxings and stuff. So that's where I heard about this box. And the owner had some, like, you know, personal issues, so she had to stop all the boxes, and there were three of them. One was, like, regular Sugar Muses. This is the uh, Sugar Muses Deluxe, and they had something called the Midnight Muses. Sounds really, really sexy. <laughs> I actually want to try it. Um, I don't know if that's back yet. And actually, she's doing them every other month now. So I wound up buying this in March. Um, for April so if I actually want to try it again I would buy or if you are interested in buying a box uh, you would do it the first of every other month so it would be next month in May and then um, it would be for June so that's all I know about the company 
All right, so we're going to get started opening up this beautiful handcrafted magic box. Okay, so finally. I actually just got off real quick because I wanted to look at their website. And I, there's no name, like her name. It's just Sugar Muses, but the Midnight Muses is actually back as well. So it's the same thing every other month. Anyway, so maybe next time I will try the Midnight Muses. And this is not a subscription. Um, they do offer the one-time um, box. So I'm not a subscriber. I just got the one-time. And this is actually how the box comes. So it does say magic on it, even though like the box is pretty plain. It does say, and now Sugar Muses may not mean anything, but it does say magic. So if you are, you know, in the broom closet, it does say something on there. All right, and I just cut this right here. So let's see, I am so excited. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So this is a Beltane box. This is so awesome. So I'm going to see if I can actually read this a little bit. Okay, so Beltane. Um, now, this is the first time I'm getting this box. So I don't want any spoilers. All right, so this seems like a ritual here, down here. So I'm just going to read this top part real quick. So maybe I can explain a little bit about Be uh, Beltane for those of you who don't know what it is. Okay. So, and this is what it looks like, yes. All right, so I'm gonna just read this really quickly. Beltane is an ancient Celtic Sabbat held April 30th, one day after my birthday, uh, through May 1st um, in the Northern Hemisphere, also known as May Day and the Festival of Flowers. It is traditionally known as a quarter day. The halfway point between the spring equinox and the summer, sol uh, summer and the, I'm sorry, in the summer equinox. Okay, I thought it was summer solstice. But anyway, Beltane is a Celtic word which means fires of bell right here. Uh, bell was a Celtic deity. In the Wiccan tradition, Beltane is the celebration of the union of the goddess and the god, male and female energies. Witches and pagans who observe the wheel of the year celebrate Beltane as the pinnacle of spring. We give thanks to the fertility of our planet and the ability of the earth to renew herself. Uh, spring is a new time to tap into the energy of the season and to help bring new life into spells, intentions, and energy work. We perform rituals and, cel and celebrations to help turn the wheel of the year we reconnect to the natural rhythms of the earth to the breath and to the breath and out breath okay and to the heart what does that say heartbeat i'm sorry of the earth beating can i not read today wow maybe because it's so early beating the rhythms of life beneath beneath us i'm sorry as Beltane is a time when the gates open between the worlds of the seen and unseen. A chance to connect to the, to the elementals, to have wishes manifested, a truly powerful time for magic. And then there's some symbols here. So we have symbols is fire, the maypole, deities is goddess flora, may queen, green man. Uh, elementals, uh, the fae, nature spirits, you got the planet, the moon, botanicals, um, lily of the valley, foxglove, lilac, ash, birch, jasmine, bluebell, blackberry, and offerings can be spring flowers, spring water, floral oils, and crystals. Um, and then it, it'll go into the items of the box and this is the ritual and I'm not actually going to share that And I didn't realize that some of these rituals are actually copyrighted. I didn't know that um, Because they write them and then you really have to buy it to get the ritual So we're gonna put this paperwork to the side and let's just get into it because I've talked too much so first we have this beautiful like you could put this on your altar um you could hang this up this is gorgeous look at that so that's what this says the script is kind of hard to read 
Um, because actually, if I'm not doing this, I can barely see it. But this is really, really beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, so let's put that here. Lovely. I may move this box out of the way. Um, and then we have a gorgeous art piece right here in pretty nice cardstock. And again, you could put it on your fr uh, in a frame or you could just like kind of lean it up and um, yeah, put it on your altar or on your wall. This is gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. And I did not see, I don't know if she does the artwork, so I don't know, but this is beautiful. Okay. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of it. Wow. Okay. Because I heard some really, look at this paper, even, is gorgeous. Okay. Let's move this back a little bit. And I'm going to move my candle so that you don't burn anything. Let's move this camera. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to choose this. So, what is this? All right. Nice little envelope. Okay. So, swim with your inner mermaid merman. There's a treasure chest waiting at the bottom of your inner ocean. Trust your inner in mer that's cute being to guide you into the depths of the opportunity that beckons you have what it takes to skillfully surf the waves of your greatest passion i love that and feel your most vibrant feelings that is beautiful so this must be like an oracle card that is really nice i love that very pretty Okay, let's put that there. I figured I'd do it on this table today because of the nice, my nice new spring um, tablecloth. All right, I don't know what to choose first. Okay, I am just going to get this. This looks like a beautiful soap. Spring mist. And do not even ask me to read that. That's craziness. So handmade ritual soap beautiful all right i'm gonna have to open it hold on and i forgot my scissors so i'm using teeth if <laughs> you can't see me and i'm sorry if i cough or i sneeze because i'm still sicky a little bit all right trying guys to open this up i just want to smell it and just i'm gonna open up just a little bit and show you let's smell Huh. I don't know if my nose is stuffed or not, but um, very, very light on the scent, which is cool, um, but it's beautiful. That is really, really nice. Okay. Let's put her here. Let's move this back. All right. I don't know what to get first. Some beautiful purple little crinkly guys. All right. This must be a candle. This is, just the packaging is gorgeous. Ooh. Beltane Botanical Soy Candle, Sugar Muses. The packaging and the labels are just magnificent. Oh, wow. This is really, really, really pretty. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. That's, like, very fresh. Um, it's so pretty. Like, the little sparkles in it. It smells a little bit like berries. Um, ah, it's not too strong, but that's nice. I like that. Beautiful. It's just gorgeous. So, let's put you there. Okay. Wow. This is beautiful so far. Um, she hand makes all of this. So, yeah. That is amazing and it's beautiful. All right, so all right, let's open up this beautiful black sachet. And I've been loving all the jewelry I've been getting in these boxes. Um, this is just the type of jewelry I actually like to wear. I am not like I don't go out and buy jewelry like gold and diamonds or anything like that. I like simple, like really pretty 
um, you know, like semi-precious stones and stuff like that. Okay. Ooh, another. I've been getting some really beautiful necklaces. Wow. This is lovely. It's a nice chain again. Um, ooh. See that? It's like a flower inside. I love that. Maybe this is resin. I don't know. But this is gorgeous. And this actually goes with a bracelet I just recently got from another box. So that is really pretty. All right. What next? All right. I am going to take this. Because this... Just look at this packaging. So what is this? This is a fragrance oil, organic and vegan. Look at this packaging. Wow, I am very, very impressed. Um, yeah, I am in very impressed. Ooh, this is a nice, oh, how nice, fairy sight. Botanical oil. A uh, nectar, citrus, cassis, and jasmine. Ooh, nice. All right, I'm gonna smell it. And okay, it's a roller. Let's get it started. Okay. All right. Hmm. Again, very very light. Um, but you know what? Like in the spring and summer. I like that. It shouldn't be, like, very heavy. Um, I like that a lot. That is beautiful. And it's huge. Huge. I love that. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm thinking I may take this box off. All right, I'm going to take the box off. Okay. And I'm going to take the next thing that comes. So this is green tea blend, and it contains caffeine, pineapple, and papaya. And here, ingredients, you got sencha, whoops, sorry, green tea, pineapple pieces, corn flower petals, natural flavoring contains... Whoops, sorry guys, caffeine. And here are the directions. So let's smell it. And now I can move this up here so you can see everything. Okay. All right, so let's open her up. This, the packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous. And I love, the, whoops, sorry guys. And I love the scent. It's like floral, but, um, very light because I'm not a big like f like heavy floral I'm like I like more clean and fresh scent so when it's floral I appreciate that it's not too heavy all right that's what it looks like hmm again very nice very light I love that so pineapple papaya I n never tried this before so that is beautiful Wow, this is just lovely. Here's my little card. Okay. Oh, okay. So here is, it comes with a little muslin uh, bag for the tea, which is very nice. I could always use more of these. And now I am just taking a black sachet. And let's see. I think I can see what this is. Wow, these are very nice. Ooh. Ugh, I needed these because I have these chimes, and they're really hard to find chime candles, uh, chime candle holders where it fits. So this must be for like the ritual that I, you know, again, I can't share it, but that is beautiful. I love it. Love, love, love. All right, let's put them up there. Right, I have to stop at one second. I will be right back. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to take out the stuff out of the box. There was a lot of like the beautiful uh, purple paper. So then we have here, it looks like hand rolled incense and it looks, it says herbal sage. And I am, I was hoping we get some incense because I brought out my cast iron um, thingamabob. <laughs> my incense burner and I think you get like eight to ten here this whole this is just gorgeous the black and the pink and very romantic that's the vibe I'm getting very romantic so let's burn because it, it's very light again with the scent nice See if you will stay in you. All right. Okay. Smells very, very nice. All right. Next, we have a few more things. Actually, we have four more things, guys. So, we have a black agate. And it looks like a worry stone, which <laughs> I can use some of that. Um, I think I said in another video that sometimes I deal with anxiety and this is really cool. I just love the black and the pinks and this very romantic um, vibe I'm getting. This is beautiful. It kind of like Victorian. I don't know. It's just beautiful. I love this. Okay. I may next time try the Midnight Muses. I don't know if I can do both. But, you know, maybe I could check out to see what the, I don't know what the prices are with the uh, Midnight Muses. So this is a Black Agate Worry Stone. And uh, this is my first Worry Stone. I do not have any. So this is very cool. So when you're thinking about something, basically you're worrying, you can just rub it. And yeah, I love that. And black and is really great for protection. I love this. This is very impressive, and I am so happy that I got this box. I really, really am. This was a great birthday gift to myself. All right, so up next, we have this beautiful teaspoon for our tea. This is beautiful. Like the color shifts in here, beautiful spoon for our very cool tea, something I've never tried before, pineapple papaya. And I love that it has some caffeine. Beautiful, so this must be all for like ritual. Like a lot of times they, they bring, uh, they put teas in. Um, so when you do the ritual, you have like something to connect to the kind of energy of the ritual. All right, and this is for Beltane. So I can hopefully have a beautiful Beltane ritual. So here we have this cool little box and it looks like it has some candles in it. All right. So we have a purple candle. Okay, here we go. Let's see what else we have in here. All right, so we have two purple candles. All right, and this is great because I needed these for my other um, chimes. Very pretty. So we have that. And what else do we have in here? Okay, so we have like an offering of these beautiful flowers. That looks like jasmine in there. And I do not know what else is in there, but that definitely looks like jasmine, the white. Okay. And then we have a couple things in here. All right. So we have a crystal wish spell. So there is the spell. Again, I think you should, you know, by the box, but there's the spell here. And then this beautiful, I don't know if this is like, hmm, I don't know what, 
But this is very pretty and sparkly. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So I'm going to put quickly this back in there. So we have our beautiful spell with the offerings. You have the crystal. You have the actual spell. You have the you have everything. The beautiful candles. Gorgeous. All right. And this is the last item in the box. I mean, this is a lot of stuff, guys. In this beautiful black satin sachet. If I can open it. All right. What do we have in here? Okay, this is really beautiful. Okay, what does some all kinds of stuff just come out? Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, hold on. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Look how beautiful. You could hang her up near your altar, on your altar. It's like the May Queen. Um, wow. I wonder if she made this or if she bought them, but this is amazing. Wow. Um, holy crap. This box is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to get the paperwork, and um, I'm just going to go over, like, some of the things that I'm unsure about, like the um, stone and the offerings, but I'm not going to share the ritual. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so a lot of this paperwork here is for the ritual, and actually I finally found uh, the owner's name. Uh, her name is Christy. So Thank you, Christy. Well, I bought it, but thank you for making such a beautiful um, box. So what do we have? So besides the, so we have a black agate stone here. I'm not gonna read everything because it's a lot. Um, it says agate is one of the oldest healing stones. It is said to be a useful receptacle for negative energy and toxicity and can be used as a protective amulet. Um, yeah, so that is, where is it? Here, the Worry Stone. Then you have the Blessing of Protection. The Fairy Sight Ritual Oil, right here. So basically you can use on your pulse points, it says. Um, what does this say? Each Bottle is charged with focused intent and can be used to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools. Uh, because this oil is free of alcohol and something else I cannot read and other chemicals, I suggest using it within a year. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume uh, to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night for external use only, obviously. And then we have the handmade candle holders right here. Obviously for the ritual, that is beautiful. I love them. I love this whole vibe. It is really, really gorgeous. Um, the handmade candle holders, so that's for the ritual. You put on your altar. I don't have to go into that. Then you have the Spring Muse plaque. This beauty right here. Just beautiful. Um, what does it say really quickly? The magic of the woods and the mystery of the spirits that dwell within are captured in the spring muse. This handcrafted plaque was created out of gypsum and then hand painted to capture the magic of spring. She will cast a whim whimsical look over your altar, meditation space, or magical rituals. Please shield from the elements, and if you uh, do want to hang her outside, use a waterproof sealer first. So she is hand-painted. Okay, then we have the beautiful pendant here, and it's a dandelion. So the Daniel, dandelion is a symbol of overcoming challenges that life throws our way. 
the seeds are said to carry wishes to charge the pendant pass it through the smoke of the incense well we can do that right now so you're cleansing it and charging it now of course I'm gonna do that more thoroughly um, pass it through where was I lost? I lost. Oh, yeah. Pla uh, pass it through the smoke of the incense. Hold it in your dominant hand and picture your desired objective being infused into the pendant, handmade with dandelions encased in resin. I was right. So it is made of beautiful resin, and that is some of the art that I do. Very, very cool. Then you have additional spell work, which I'm not going into. Um, again, you know, I think you should get the box. Um, and then, what is this? Release the circle. Okay, maybe that is... Okay, so that is the... Basically, you know, a lot of it has to do with the ritual. You know, and of course the tea is for the ritual and all that. And whoops, I am going to burn my house down. Alright, let's not do that, Marisa. Cool. So that is it, guys. This video is a little long, but look just... I'm going to bring you in a little closer. This is just, the vibe is so gorgeous. I'm going to have to light this candle right now because, and I'm going to put it out, but I just want you to see it. Just how beautiful Sugar Muse is. You really did an amazing job. This is just an amazing, gorgeous box. Guys, so let me know what you think about this beautiful box. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what my favorite item is because I love everything. I lo you know me with the teas, the soap, the candles, the candle hold. Like, the whole vibe is absolutely gorgeous. I am highly, highly impressed. And, yeah, I have nothing else to say but just amazing things here. Um, if you want to check out Sugar Muses yourself, I am going to put the link to uh, her website. Again, remember, it's every other month, so May 1st. She does, right now, just have the Deluxe Sugar Muses and the Midnight. So maybe next month I will try the Midnight. We're going to give it a try because this is amazing, like just absolutely gorgeous. I love the plaque. I mean, I love everything. The necklace, the soap, the candle, the oil. I mean, the artwork, everything. The rituals are just beautiful. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And, guys, don't forget to, you know, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Let me know what you think in the comments, you know, what your favorite um, item is. And if you would like to try this for yourself, I think just you can get a one time uh, purchase like I did just to try them. I think she does an amazing job and uh, I just feel like the effort and the beauty of this box. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. So guys, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching this long video, but I just needed to share this with you. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye and happy belting. Bye guys.